John Glenn, one of America's first astronauts, one of seven men known as the Mercury 7, chosen to take part in the United States' first attempt to put men in space. He had already made history in 1957 by breaking the transcontinental speed record flying from Los Angeles to New York in three hours and 23 minutes. In 1962, the military test pilot became the first American to orbit the Earth. As Glenn lifted off in his Friendship 7 capsule, fellow astronaut Scott Carpenter in Mission Control uttered some of the most memorable words in U.S. history. Godspeed, John Glenn. Three revolutions in four hours and 55 minutes later, he returned an instant legend. He was awarded the Congressional Space Medal of Honor, and New York threw him one of its signature ticker tape parades. Later in life, Glenn would poke fun at the risk. We used to joke about it in the past when people would say, what do you think about it on the launch pad? And the standard answer was, uh, how do you think you'd feel if you knew you were on top of two million parts built by the lowest bidder on a government contract? <laughs> Until Glenn's flight, the Russians had led the space race. The decade is out. Glenn's success bolstered America's spirit and gave credence to President John Kennedy's pledge to put men on the moon. Glenn would not be one of them. JFK ordered NASA not to fly him again. He was too valuable as an American figure. He resigned from NASA in 1964. In 1983, the Mercury 7 were immortalized in the movie The Right Stuff. I didn't much care for that movie. I thought it was dramatic enough without Hollywood uh, doing a, its number on it. You know, we had no control over that at all. He learned to fly as part of a college course and went on to join the Marine Corps in 1943. Glenn flew 149 combat missions in World War II and the Korean War before becoming a test pilot. After leaving NASA, he spent the next decade as a businessman. But in 1974, he ran for and won a U.S. Senate seat from Ohio. When he announced he'd retire at the end of the 105th Congress, Glenn had served for 24 years. He was widely regarded as an effective legislator and moderate Democrat. Not everything went perfectly for Glenn, however. In 1984, he ran for president. With the nomination of my party, I firmly believe I can beat Ronald Reagan. John Glenn never gave up on his dream of one day returning to space. He got to be, as he often called it, a willing guinea pig once again. At the age of 77, he flew on a nine-day space shuttle mission. The mission was to learn more about the aging process in space. The flight proved once again Glenn was a man who embraced a challenge. In 2012, President Obama recognized that and all of his accomplishments by awarding the former astronaut and senator the nation's highest civilian honor, the Presidential Medal of Freedom. For most people, fame is fleeting. For John Herschel Glenn, it lasted a lifetime.